Biodiesel is something that's been around for a long time. India's first biodiesel discussions came in 2003. Globally, they came in the 1990s. There are countries like Indonesia and Malaysia which produce very large quantities. But in India, the biggest problem was biodiesel is made from oils and fats. How do you collect them? Now, with uh, government policies, particularly a policy from Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI, which says that if you're a dhaba or a restaurant, you can't throw your cooking oil or reuse it. After two or three uses, you must give it for biodiesel manufacturing. Right? Because if you reuse cooking oil, it causes health issues. Yes. Yeah. Now there's an app called Ruko. Today, while I'm speaking here, uh, Ruko exponent from Bombay is speaking in JNU at an exhibition conference called STRI, run purely by women and entrepreneurs and scientists. And India imports and uses uh, 21 and 27 million tons of oil, edible oil. So more than 10% is wasted. If I can collect just that, 2, uh, 2 million tons. 2 million tons represents uh, close to a million tons of CO2 footprint saved. Right. So what we did, we realized that the big problem was not the technology. The big problem was the collection. So we essentially changed the game. The moment I, I told you, machines are a problem, right? So we built a very simple machine. It's just a stirred tank. You can add the waste cooking oil or the animal fat or whatever with some chemicals and reactants. You add everything by hand. It can be stirred by unskilled labor. And you leave it on the table and your diesel is made in about couple of hours. You just come and take it out. So we're calling it Gao Gao Mein Biodiesel. The first unit is running in Chhattisgarh. Uh, the second unit we hope will come up in our parliament house when it is rebuilt. And we think that 50, 60,000 of these units would not be a problem across India. They're, and they're not expensive, right? They're making 160 liters of diesel each and they cost about 5 lakhs to put in. So These are the disruptive ideas at scale, decentralized, where every user is also either a producer or a participant in the sustainable supply chain. Yes. 